Hi, it's me, Poopy Memes. Um, I'm playing Giant Balloon now because Sparky is not boosted anymore, and I don't have a level level 14 Sparky. I could if I wanted to, and I buy the pass, but I'm not gonna buy the pass right away. So for a little bit at least, I'm gonna try out Goblin Giant Sparky or or Goblin Giant Balloon. I've always wanted to see um. Goblin Giant, other deck archetypes, and I think honestly, this is a good combo because Goblin Giant's pretty good at breaking buildings. Unlike, unlike regular Giant, he does damage for that one extra elixir, and he can also kill uh, bats and spear goblins if you're playing against a minor cycle psych. It's a it's good synergy all around because he also works well with Mighty Miner, Mini Pekka. Good Mini takes it for b the balloon. The E Wizard, I only have him in there for the for Sparky. Literally, I don't know, man. Like, I have to if I put something else there, it has to also deal with Sparky. I'm. I'm thinking maybe Phoenix, but I don't know. Archers, because archers are broken. Yada, yada. Let's get into some games. I'll show you the one ranked game I played. So far. This is weird as... This is my first game of the... Of the season. The other games are ladder games, so they don't really count as much. Skelly Barrel Mega Knight Sparky Goblin Cage Tesla Goblin Cage Tesla in the same deck. With Flying Machine, Firecracker, and Tesla also in the same deck because he needs three air counters, two buildings. And you and he still can't break through. Like, come on. So at this point, after he played the firecracker and the uh, flying machine, I'm like, oh, and the goblin cage, I'm like, okay, he doesn't have the Tesla. Literally, that's what I thought. He does not have Tesla. But as you will see when I balloon, or as you can see now because I'm watching a replay, goblin cage. Okay, whatever, Goblin Cage. Tesla! Uh, it's like, what the heck? Oh. Thankfully, I don't get into a disadvantaged state because of it. Oh. Then this guy reveals his true colors with the Sparky. I have to Goblin Giant into it to body block and kill whatever he uses to tank for the Sparky. And that is a Mega Knight. So I... Mini Pekka, I arrows. I mighty minor for to tank for the flying machine and to do a little bit of chip to the other stuff. And then I get a pretty big counter push. And then he Mega Knights into my Mighty Miner, which is good job. Just good job, dude. I arrows, I get big fat arrows getting the guards and the firecracker and the goblin cage and the tower. Like. And then he just gives up. Like. After that arrows, he's just like, I can't win. Even though he's literally in the lead. Like, is literally winning, gives up. 
Uh, let me see here. This that this game wasn't that interesting, but I did get, no, it was because I got crazy mighty minor value and crazy mini Pekka value. Like minor pet, minor hog rider just does not work, especially when you also have Devalk. It's like you only need one mini tank for the hog rider. Uh, I predict it because it's always in the safe spot, even when it's even when they don't know how to play the safe spot. Um, I use my mining miner ability just to kill the Tesla a bit faster. He musketeers, and yeah, I arrows all of that. And I also snowballed the musketeer because, but sadly it wasn't getting targeted, so I'm just screwed. Like, this is what I'm talking about mighty minor value, though. I get a miner and a hog rider. I just eat the musketeer. I really shouldn't. But you know what? I've won anyway, so teach myself bad habits. I wanted, actually I should have eaten that musketeer because it let me go in for the the goblin game, or the giant goblin. And that baited out more elixir. The towers still worth keeping alive. I go in for a mini P.E.K.K.A. balloon push. And I just take tower because mini P.E.K.K.A. tanks for the balloon and also gets a shot off. I don't take tower, but I, I kind of do. I play E-Wiz and Archers just so I, just to protect from the three crown. I clearly mighty minor that. A goblin giant in front of this mighty miner. Now look at that damage to the freaking Tesla though. I mighty miner bomb to deal with all of that. And I just barely don't get a balloon hit. I go in for the goblin giant knowing that I'm going to get power or if I do. And I just barely do, but I still get, but who cares, I got it. Bada bing bada boom. Horrible miner, just feeds my goblin giant. This time I actually arrows all of it. And I get some archer damage and not even a balloon hit, come on. And then he just feeds a miner into my mighty miner. Like, dude, what are you doing? Look at this push now that you have to deal with. I mini P.E.K.K.A on top of the thing. He guards, but I have archers up, so they don't do anything. And bada bing, bada boom. Easy peasy. This is kind of loud, actually. Oh. I'm going to show you this defeat because it was a. It wasn't a close game, but he. I BM too early. This is what happens when you BM too early. This is a... Watch. 
the skeletons, so I snowball, the E Giants, I balloon, he had Phoenix in his opening hand. He BM'd first, so I don't know if I BM too early or what, but I think I BM too early. He activated King Tower, so I BM'd him with the new free emote. Hold on, where did I when did I play it? I could have sworn I played it. There we go. Dude, that, that new emote, low-key fire. I go in for a Mighty Miner Balloon opposite lane, knowing that he can't afford a Phoenix. He goes in for the NATO. Now, you may be like, he just gave you half of his tower. Half of his king tower and half of a tower. Obviously, you should go into that lane constantly. Well, here's the issue: the the Megan the e giant just eats up my pushes, so I thought that I had to go opposite lane, but that doesn't work out for me either. I think I should have just went same lane. Yeah, he just plays e giant, and then I'm like, well, I can't play shit because if I play it, then I die. Like I can't play the balloon into the thing because then it will then it will just die. I do get some chip, but that's it. Just chip damage from the E-Wiz. And then this is how the game ends. I can't break through because this e giant is just so freaking stupid. I don't get why they didn't nerf that actual reflection damage. So is NATO. I mean, like, frankly, like, how did NATO pull in both my Mighty Miner and my Balloon? Like, it should have only pulled in the Balloon or just the Mighty Miner or neither because they got pushed half of their original force. But no, let me just pull in two cards for three Elixir and just save my tower from getting deleted. So, other than that, though, um... Yeah, he was totally the better player, and not at all NATO. It wasn't at all that NATO was broken. Here's my last game against someone playing Minor Poison. I will say, I do like this about my new deck. It's so good against Minor Poison. They, they either don't have the ability to defend the Goblin Giant, or they don't have the ability to defend the Balloon. Because their main DPS is usually their ranged card. If I wanted to be real toxic, I could play Earthquake instead of Snowball, but I think that would be too toxic and it wouldn't actually be good. Hmm. He just fed my Goblin Giant, I don't know why. Oh, I let my Goblin Giant do chip damage to the Inferno Tower and just play a Mighty Miner in the back. He plays a level 12 Skeleton Barrel, which is like, I don't care about that death damage. And then I go in for my Mighty Miner Balloon Push with my arrows ready. Sadly, I didn't get the Ice Spirit too, but it didn't really matter. I ability to predicting something and I got the P.E.K.K.A out and I get two towers and and three crown damage. Actually, I just get the three crown. I, I forgot, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the Mighty Miner ability just gets you the three crown, guys. So trust me, it's in this deck, like, it's it's worth the Mighty Miner being in this. Like, it, it's good. Oh my god, I didn't mean to hit that, but whatever. We'll le we're leaving this in. Like and subscribe or whatever. Please.